My name is Robbie Fritcher. I'm the Aquatics Director for Franco's Athletic Clubs, and I'm the CEO and founder of JoJo's Hope. JoJo's Hope is an adaptive aquatics program that teaches special needs children how to swim, but we also have the swim team competition component to it. JoJo's Hope started in 2001 with about 20 swimmers, and today in 2022, we're at 120 swimmers and going strong. We work with individuals as young as two years old. I believe our oldest right now is 43 years old. We're a learn to swim program. We're a competitive program. We are let's have fun in the water program, but most importantly, we wanna instill safety. In 98, my nephew, Joseph Michael Fritcher drowned and um, had a big impact on my life. And I wanted to do something for the community to keep his name alive. Swimming was the one thing I needed to do to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And so a big part of what I do is teaching children how to swim, learning how to swim correctly and efficiently so they can be good swimmers, but also more importantly, how to save themselves. I feel like swimming has been a gift for me. You know, it's something I identified as a swimmer my whole life. I feel like I need to give that gift back. I need to kick it down the road a little bit. So I started working with special needs kids in the late 90s. They molded me into the instructor that I became. I learned how to adapt my teaching skills to their individual needs. Robbie saw that individuals with disabilities, they didn't have the opportunity to have swim lessons. And he just felt compelled that he needed to do that because if he could prevent another child from drowning, he was fulfilling God's mission. Aaron is challenged uh, both intellectually and also uh, ambulation-wise walking around. So most of the time we bring her in what we call a transport chair. And we have a handicap sticker for the car and we put her in, we move her around. And that's the way she is on land most of the time. And then when she gets in the pool, all of a sudden she takes off. When she gets in the pool, she's more like a fish. And that's uh, all to do with Robbie's program. With, giving Erin the confidence, where now she can do just as well as anybody else in the pool. Robbie saw an opportunity in Louisiana to take individuals with disabilities and put them into competition with their typical peers. And he started that about 12 years ago and has been immensely successful with it. All individuals love competition. And in the beginning, he started out with Special Olympic swim meets. As some of the swimmers were really developing and becoming proficient in swimming, he introduced them to USA sanctioned swim meets. It was so rewarding to see how accepting the swim community was of our kids who have disabilities compete with their typical peers. The most important thing in this work is given an opportunity to a group of kids that don't get a lot of opportunities. Set, go. Robbie's probably got one of the largest hearts of anybody that I know. He has a passion for what he does with JoJo So, and it comes out in, in his actions. He truly is here from sunrise to sunset. Early, early in the morning, he's out there coaching, and then till the day is over, he's out there. He, he loves what he does. He is making a difference in the lives of not just those kids in saving the lives, but in the, the parents, how much they appreciate the fact that he cares so much to do a program like this. It's first class. JoJo's Hope is usually at the end of my day, and I, sometimes I really I just want to go home. I've been here all day, but every day, that I leave JoJo's Hope practice, I thank God because it's, I needed it. it it's, a, it's a good way to end a, a long, hard day, be with those guys out there.